The most common indication for a treadmill test is to diagnose coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease is the world's most common kind of heart disease. Coronary artery disease forms when there is a buildup of plaque in the walls of the coronary arteries leading to narrowing and eventually occluding these arteries. When you have coronary artery disease, you may experience symptoms like chest pain or chest discomfort, shortness of breath, dizziness, fainting, Chest pain that happens with exertion could be a symptom of heart blockages. The treadmill test is the best test to detect them. Here coronary artery disease can lead to shortness of breath. It may occur only during physical exercise or in stressful conditions. If you experience shortness of breath, your doctors may advise a TMT test. Similarly, dizziness and fainting can signify heart blockages. To know the cause, a treadmill test may be needed. Another indication for the treadmill test is to assess how safely you can exercise. You may need to consult a doctor to start a new exercise program. The doctor may want to learn what level of exercise you can safely handle. The treadmill test helps him determine your level of fitness and exercise capacity. Accordingly, he plans your exercise program. If you had cap surgery 5 years ago, you may still need a TMT test even if you don't have any symptoms. Few cardiologists consider a TMT test 2 years following a cardiac stenting procedure. It helps them diagnose recurrent blockages. The term arrhythmia refers to irregular heartbeats. Exercising can help your doctor better understand some types of arrhythmia. Then, your doctor may recommend that you take a treadmill test. Before a major surgery, your doctor may want to make sure the heart is in good shape. The TMT result shows if it is safe to do major surgery. A doctor may recommend a treadmill test to determine whether or not you can safely exercise after a heart attack. TMT test has some risk. So, it should only be done if a doctor tells you to.